Hi, welcome to another video presentation uh, by AlkalineWaterMalaysia.com and this video we're going to talk about alkaline water and what defines alkaline water. Now, first of all, alkaline water, uh, most of us will know that has a pH uh, higher than 7. Now, the pH is basically a scale that ranges from 1 to 14. So, acidic water pH uh, would be lower than 7 and at a pH of 7 the water is neutral so basically pH is a measure of uh, concentrations of hydrogen ions okay as you all know water is uh, represented by the formula H2O meaning there are two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom now one important uh, characteristics of water is that its ability to ionize, meaning the process of ionization. What it does is, when water is ionized, it splits into two parts, consisting of uh, hydrogen ions and uh, hydroxyl ions, represented by OH-, uh, hydrogen ions represented by H+. Now, when water has more uh, hydrogen ions, the water is acidic. Okay, When water has uh, more or hydroxyls or OH minus, uh, the water is alkaline. So at pH 7, uh, the concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxyls ions are uh, equal, and that water is considered neutral. Now, the chemical reactions in water will influence uh, the uh, concentrations of uh, hydrogen and hydroxyls ions. So Chemical reactions can drive uh, either you know uh, hydrogen ions higher or hydroxyls uh, ion concentrations higher. Now, when alkaline minerals is present in water, the concentrations of hydrogen ions, the H plus, decreases, and therefore the pH will increase, meaning uh, the pH, the water will be more alkaline. Now, when acid minerals is present in the water. Um, the concentrations of hydrogen ions will increase and therefore the pH will drop. Now alkaline minerals uh, include things like um, uh, calcium, magnesium, uh, potassium and sodium uh, whereas acid minerals would be things like sulfur and, uh, and a few other, other, other minerals. Now the um, the next thing we need to talk about is the alkaline water uh, and the oxygen content. Now the amount of oxygen in water depends on the concentrations of hydrogen and hydroxyl ions. For acidic water, uh, which, is, which has a lower pH or pH less than 7, it means there are more hydrogen ions and that translates to less, less oxygen. Okay, whereas for alkaline water, the, the pH is higher and therefore there's more, more hydroxyls and that means there are more oxygen in the alkaline water. Now, for our blood, the pH is actually ranges from 7.3 to 7.45. Now, for a blood pH of 7.45, the oxygen content is 65% more than a blood pH of uh, 7.3. Now, uh, so that implies that when the pH is very low, uh, the oxygen content is also very low, and this is uh, uh, this is evidenced by the fact that cancer patients have very acidic pH. Now, in terms of alkaline. Um, um, water and what defines uh, alkaline water there are three important things to remember first is ionization the water can be ionized to split into hydrogen and hydroxyl ions and when this happens a chemical reaction can take place in water because of the hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions in the ionized water and the concentrations of the hydrogen ions as well as the hydroxyl ions can influence the oxygen content of the water. And by understanding these three major characteristics of water, uh, we will 
uh, have uh, an idea of how alkaline water can actually impact our body uh, when alkaline uh, water uh, exists in our body. In other words, likewise, on the other hand, when acidic water, uh, water with the acidic pH enters our body, it can also affect the uh, processes and and other things inside the body. So um, when we talk about alkaline water, we need to talk about all these different um, uh, characteristics or factors that influence the um, characteristics of the water. So uh, we thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we invite you to visit our website at alkalinewatermalaysia.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.